Hi student, today we are going to learn about fungi in microorganism. Fungi in microorganisms. See, fungi is group of eukaryotic cells. Group of eukaryotic cells. Before that, you know some microorganisms already classified in the beginning of class. Then fungi, virus, bacteria, protozoan, amoeba, like that. This fungi group form eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells means what already we studied. The what is the difference between the eukaryotic and prokaryotic? Different eukaryotic cell means what? Or prokaryotic cell means what? We studied. Fungi is group of eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic means nothing but this kinds of the cells that take place in true nucleus. True nucleus and the cell membrane that surrounded in inner hormones. Prokaryotic is absence of inner hormones. The few hormones only the present. But this one, this kinds of the cell will mature because of the present in true nucleus and then inner hormones that surrounded in membrane or nuclear membrane and then the eukaryotic is found in dark environment the found in dark environment are wet soil or shadow places shadow places this dark environment dark environment and then wet soil see this fungi is classified under a kingdom of fungi and the, the study about fungi is called mycology the study about fungi is called mycology Anyone asking mycology means just you want to say the study about fungi is called mycology. This fungi either are unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular, good example for yeast. Unicellular, good example for yeast and multicellular. Multicellular good example penicillium. And then fungi lack of chlorophyll. Lack of chlorophyll. Lack. Lack of chlorophyll. Lack of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll means already you know this is the pigment. Which pigment means green pigment. Green pigment the present means that plant will appear in green color. But fungi lack of chlorophyll. That means this fungi is not present in chlorophyll. So this fungi appear in some brown color or pointy color like that. And then this during the rainy season after the growing during rainy season. During the raining time, and then see here the presence of the fungi unicellular of yeast. Yeast that are replaced for bread baking industry or preparation of the bread. Bread that are replaced in will produce in them with the help of the zymus enzyme. With the help of zymus. Zymus enzyme. Zymus enzyme. And then, this fungi respire in aerobic. Aerobic and aerobic already you know, but this fungi involved in aerobic respiration. It's not yeah, aerobic. Another big respiration means what? We 
without head cell. So this respiratory in have been respiration. Another one is respiration. What type of reproduction that involved in fungi means that involved in budding and fragmentation. Fragment. And budding. Some fungi will produce in pores. See, now I will explain about structure of fungi. The first one is the cell and second one. Multicellular. Unicellular yeast. The good example for it yeast. That yeast present in ovoid shell. Ovoid shell. What shape the present in yeast cell means? Just we want to say the ovoid shape of present. That ovoid shape like this. I will not say that. Double long line. The ovoid shape is the containing cell wall. This. And the, the yeast in, inside the person in nucleus. This is nucleus. At the same time, yeast is consist in the presence of black. And food grana. This is food grana. And cytoplasm. The yeast we want to write. The yeast means that is ovoid shape. The yeast present in, in atmosphere in freely. The yeast can grow in can grow the meal in some medium. That medium is present in sugar content. Sugar content medium that present means will grow that yeast in yeast meal. This is cytoplasm. This is nucleus. Back hole. Food granules, the present. See, under this yeast, respire already in other yeast, respire in another degree, the fermentation process that I expressed. Fermentation, before that I told in fragment. Fragment means will broken, that one type of the reproduction. Now telling fermentation. Fermentation means that is anaerobic respiration without hexagon. The address is with the help of the enzyme. So this involved in which type of the reproduction takes place in yeast means just to want to write the bud name. So yeast definitions anyone asking means just to want to say the yeast is one unicellular or simple cell fungi. This is one kinds of the fungi but this is unicellular. This is present in OVR shape. This is present in OVR shape. Yeast present in, in atmosphere. Yeast present in atmosphere. Yeast can grow in yeastly. The present in sugar content medium. Sugar content medium means the good example for happy. Just happy. Sugar content means how can I identify which foods or which vegetables you are eating means that time you feel in taste. So the taste, sugar taste is the present means that is a good example. In taste, you are eating in happy, that time you want to cut that happy. After that, a few seconds or fraction of second after that you see that happy, surface will be changed that color. The responsibility is from there only. The responsibility is from there. And then another one good example, bread. Bread. That bread you take, uh, take in the two pieces. One piece is kept in the fridge inside, another one kept in the room temperature. After that, the few hours or few minutes after you come and see the bread, then how the surface will be growing in the brown patches. The brown patches the main responsibility of the fungi. At the same time, the present on the inside of the fridge, having in one piece, that is not having in anything, it's not growing in anything. That is fungi. See, now I will explain about multicellular. Multicellular, the good example already you know the macroscopy. 
macroscopic acute example for in mushroom macroscopic this is initial law example yeast and macroscopic example mushroom see mushroom you know the very well mushroom biryani that it is in fungi there are mushroom agarias that agarias present in umbrella like structure umbrella you know that during the raining time they are using in some umbrella uh, umbrella that is see multi sulma good example for him mushroom this mushroom will grow in shallow places under wet soil the outer surface of the land the during the rainy season nowadays you are going checking means is not present because of this situation is the hot hot or the summer session summer session is not present in moist surface after the rainy season you see the present in outer surface in moist moist surface means it is the healthy fair during the rainy season you feel in chillness the hair hair person is in some amount of water content like that after the rainy season the outer surface of the land present in umbrella like structure will grow in that umbrella like structure that structure is called in mushroom the present in like this i will draw that structure of mushroom Umbrella like structure. That umbrella like structure. The present means the outer surface present in cap like structure. That is cap like structure. And the the bottom of the cap like structure is the present in the gill structure. Gill structure. The gill structure contain pores. Like this, and then here the axis of the part. This one is can. This is cap. This is gills. That means that silk like structure that are present in out inside of the umbrella. Or inside of the umbrella like structure that present in that is a mushroom. This is gills. This is stem. This is hypi. And then this is underground hypi. Underground hypi. See the very simple multicellular organism or multicellular fungi is a good example for a mushroom. This mushroom present in the umbrella-like structure. Where growing this one means after the rainy season, the presence of the moist surface or the wet soil or shadow place will growing this. The presence in consisting part of cap like structure and then the stalk high bay and undergrowth high bay. See, this gives the presence in silt like structure. Silt. Silt like structure that is the gills. This gills the presence in the Porous. This gills take place in porous. Porous means very minute walls. Very minute walls that present. This is the edible part. 
this helical part means the cell wall of the mastodon is composed in chitin. The chitin that means the high pain that present in the thread like structure. The thread like structures that given in here than bottom of the bottom of the mastodon. Why we are present the high pain? What is the main function of this high pain? Means that high pain involved in transport. This high pain involved in transport. Transport nutrient for mushroom growth. For mushroom growth, other this one want to grow means want to getting that energy. That energy that you getting from means the bottom of the root. Actually, this is the root like structure. It's not a tree. See, there present the tree like root also present in tree like. But this is not a well developed. Presence of the trees means that well developed root that present because of the more much of the water is want to meet. That we will observe, but this is not growing in more deeply. Then outer surface only present that. See, this high pay is important in transport. Transport means the nutrition or other any food materials want to need means they are getting from some organism. Maybe this mushroom is dependent to the two category. On the base of nutrition, this classified in two types. Then first one, saprophyte. See, the saprophyte means that involved in only non-living things. Non-living. That means what about the example in the dead particles or decomposing particles or the food and tree? That one, dead particles. This is passive, is living. Living things. See, very simple, the fungi means the group of cells. Group of cells in eukaryotic, they will grow in dark environment, lack of chlorophyll pigment, and the either the unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular root example for in yeast, multicellular root example for in mushroom. Unicellular present in the ovoid shape. Basically, the fungi involved in anaerobic respiration and then reproduction is budding. Here, presence of the ovary shape is consists in some inner hormones. Why here present in inner hormones means because of this yeast is classified in eukaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cell means they want to present in true nucleus and then some inner hormones. Here, present in the foot granule and nucleus, vacuoles and cytoplasm. And then the cell wall is present. That cell wall is contained in, surrounded in ovoid shape. At the same time, here the presence of the multicellular. Multicellular present in umbrella-like structure. That umbrella-like structures will grow in the outer surface of the soil or outer surface of the lab or outer surface of the hair. See, here present in this entire part of the, part of the umbrella-like structure that is called in fruity body. Fruity body. That is another name. Fruiting body. Fruiting body. See here the umbrella. This umbrella means the cap like structure. Cap like structure inside the person in sit like sir, consisting part. The parts is called in gills. The gills is consist, consist in porous. Porous means very minute particle. At the same time, this my macroscopic organism. Macro means here itself having an answer. Macro means big. Macro means big. Micro means smaller. Big means you easily understood. This is the big organism. Why we saying that multicellular means you easily identify. When you walk in the roadside, that time after the rainy season, you see the roadside, they are having in the humble like structure means that time is the identified. So, which harmonism you identified in direct neck? Direct neck you identified means that is called in multicellular. So, the macroscopic means mushroom that means a big harmonism. Or peria urum. Make a peria urum. See, here presence of the stock and the high pay and undergrowth high pay. High pay they are involved in transport.
transport function. What is the main function of eye pair? Like the question is asking, and then what is the main function of the gills? Which part are replacing in the edible part? And then what are the kinds of the nutrition that take place in fungi? Only the two kinds. That means hetero and hetero. Here. Fungi only involved in heterophily is not present in autotrophic nutrition because of before that you know the fungi is low for chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is absent means that the organism is not involved in one food preparation. And then here the present in the two types of the heterophobic uh, nutrition. The first one is saprophyte. Saprophyte means which organism the getting from nutrient for the dead particles. That may be the dead particles they are having means the attached in easily will get the energy or nutrient. That is saprophyte and parasite. Parasite means this is only dependent to the living things. Living things. Maybe any living things they are having means attached. And the root parasite like that they are having in some exa examples. The good example will Ha, uh, agar yes, albubo, like that. Thank you.